gang, gang, it's him, it's Trobot the EXE, back in Trobot Studios with the history of Dragon Ball Part 16. Today, I am going to be covering Dragon Ball Z Kai Phase 2, aka Dragon Ball Z Kai the final chapters, Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods and Resurrection F, and if we have enough time, Dragon Ball Super! So let's get moving and go on to that recap. Yee! Last time on the history of Dragon Ball, I covered Yo Son Goku and his friends return and how that helped usher in Dragon Ball's return to prominence in Japan and how that experiment truly succeeded in the form of the anime Dragon Ball Kai. I also covered how Dragon Ball Kai came to America in the form of Dragon Ball Z Kai, the English dub for Dragon Ball Kai. Anyway, that's it for the recap. Let's get down into the video. So let's start with Battle of Gods and Resurrection F. In 2013, Toei released the now 18th <laughs> Dragon Ball film in the franchise called Dragon Ball Z God and God, El Title. This was as huge as Dragon Ball Kai because this was the first Dragon Ball film in 17 years. But what was truly special was the fact that unlike the previous 17 movies, Akira Toriyama had full involvement with this film. In the previous films, he had partial or no involvement with the films. And guess what? The film did very well, probably because Akira Toriyama had full involvement with the film. As a matter of fact, it is regarded as one of, if not the greatest Dragon Ball film. Toei decided to release another film called Revival of F, and it was actually written by Akira Toriyama himself. God and God was written by Yusuke Watanabe. This film wasn't as critically acclaimed as God and God, but it did good enough. Unsurprisingly, both films were dubbed in English by Funimation and were actually shown on the big screen. God and God was renamed to Battle of Gods, and Revival of F was renamed to Resurrection F. These are the film's more common names. Now, let's get back into Dragon Ball Kai. So two years have passed since Phase 1 of Dragon Ball Kai, actually since that phase ended. In 2014, Dragon Ball Kai Phase 2 began. The reason for that is because composer Kenji Yamamoto was charged for plagiarism on multiple counts. So, as a result, he was replaced by Norihito Sumitomo, who still does the score for Dragon Ball to this day. Phase 2 counted as episodes 99 to 159 of the series, or 200 to 291 of Dragon Ball Z. It ran from 2014 to 2015 and concluded the series with episode 159. Even stronger, Goku's dream is never ending. Does the title sound familiar? Funimation dubbed Phase 2, big surprise there, and renamed it to what it's now called Dragon Ball Z Kai, the final chapters. When dubbed into English, the Sumitomo score was retained, but the opening and ending was changed. This technique hasn't been done since Toonami's airings of the first two Dragon Ball Z movies in 1999. And no, English covers do not count. While in Japan, the opening was called Kuzen Zetsugo, or the title, the US opening was fighted out. And there was another dub original song called Let It Burn. Not to be confused with the Usher song. It plays during the fight between Goku and Kid Buu. 
and it is actually awesome. One of my favorite Dragon Ball Z songs. Let's hear it for a second. Feel the cheese that's coming with you. The moment of changes begins to take the fun of lonely many care. To thought that you look back when we turn energy. Awesome, right? It aired from 2017 to 2018 with a year-long run, like the Japanese version, in case you didn't figure that out from the years. It also aired on Adult Swim at 8 o'clock p.m. Now, let's talk about Dragon Ball Super! After the success that was Dragon Ball Kai, Toei felt confident enough to start a new Dragon Ball anime called Dragon Ball Super. Unlike Kai, Super was a completely original anime. Super, interestingly enough, is theorized to take place between Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball GT. Even though I think Super is a sequel to Kai and GT is a sequel to Z. The series debuted on July 5th, 2015 on Fuji TV the same network Dragon Ball has always aired on, but this time it's airing on Sunday mornings, not on Wednesday evenings, interestingly. This series, interestingly enough, has easily the most moments with distractingly poor animation. For example, the infamous Episode 5's animation, more specifically during Goku and Beerus' fight on King Kai's planet. In fact, take a look at this! Ooh, right? The internet just blew up when it saw this episode. And it was infamous for how utterly bad the animation was. The anime had five arts. The God of Destruction Beerus, Golden Frieza, Universe 6, Future Trunks, and Tournament of Power arcs. The God of Destruction, Beerus, and Golden Frieza arcs being adaptations of Battle of Gods and Resurrection F. Interestingly enough, a manga was released alongside Super that started with the Universe 6 arc and continued on from there. And the manga is still running to this day, in contrast to the anime, which ended after 131 episodes all the way back in 2018. Currently, the manga has, as of March 2022, six arcs, two of which are original to the manga, the Galactic Patrol Prisoner and Granola the Survivor arcs, the most recent arc being based off of Dragon Ball Super Super Hero. So, I don't think that counts. Anyway, that's all the time we have for today, folks. Next time, we are at the home stretch with Dragon Ball Super The Movies. It's probably going to be a much shorter video than usual, but I hope you can thug it out with me. And in the meantime, later fools!